Shadowplay is the 36th episode of the science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. It is the 16th episode of the second season. Odo and Dax investigate why a villager's residents are disappearing, Major Kira and Vedek Barail become personally involved. Plot <inaudible> 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 Dax and Odo detect an unusual particle field emanating from a planet in the Gamma Quadrant, so they beam down to investigate. They discover the field is coming from a small villager's power generator, but when a villager named Colius discovers them, he is suspicious of them. Once Odo convinces Colius of their intentions, Colius explains that the village is a Yadiran colony and 22 people have disappeared in the past few days without a trace. Odo and Dax offer to help investigate the disappearances, but the village leader, Ruragan, seems unconvinced that the villagers will ever be found. The next day, Odo talks with a shy child named Taya whose mother disappeared recently. The two find a common ground in that they are both orphans now. Taya has lost both her parents, while Odo never knew his, and during the course of their conversation, Taya reveals that the Yadarans never leave their valley. Ruragan, who was one of the village's founders and is the oldest living member, assures Odo that searching beyond the valley would be pointless. Apparently no one, including Ruragan and Colius, has thought about searching beyond the valley or ever considered leaving it. In addition to this curious behavior, Ruragan does not seem intent on finding the villagers despite the fact that his own daughter is among the missing. Odo and Dax take Taya to the edge of the valley, where Taya points out a tree and tells them she has never been beyond that point. When Dax passes that point, a Yadiran device vanishes from her hand. Taya reaches past the tree and her arm begins to disappear until she brings it closer to her. The three return to the village to share their findings with Colius. Dax uses the reactor to make Colius' cloak disappear and rematerialize, demonstrating that the entire village, including its citizens, is a holographic projection created by the reactor's particle field. The reactor has fallen into disrepair and is breaking down, causing the villagers to disappear one by one. Colius is skeptical and refuses to believe Dax and Odo at first, but they bring the villagers to the area by the tree and reenact what happened to Taya. The villagers begin to panic, thinking this is some sort of trick, but Colius convinces them to believe Dax and Odo's story. The villagers were programmed not to think about leaving the valley, which is why such a thing has never occurred before. With Kolyu's help, they convince the villagers to let Dax shut down the reactor and repair it before it stops functioning completely. However, when she does so, the village and all the villagers vanish, except Ruragan. When the Dominion arrived on Yadera Prime, Ruragan explains, it destroyed life as he knew it, so he escaped to an abandoned planet and recreated the world he had lost. He has been living in this illusion for over thirty years, and now he admits that none of it was real. However, Odo points out that were it not real Ruragan would not have been able to develop feelings for the villagers, after all, they are only holograms. He argues that Taya and the others are real and deserve a real chance to live. Dax and Ruragan repair the reactor, restoring the village, including the missing people. Before he and Dax leave, Odo realizes how close he has grown to Taya and the two share a heartfelt goodbye. Taya thanks him for finding her mother and wishes him luck in finding his own parents. Before they leave, Odo demonstrates his abilities by morphing into a toy that Taya played with earlier. <laughs> 